Hello and welcome to another plugin review. This time it's Supercharged Links. When you look for walls or other videos, you often have seen probably that some people like to use emojis in their file names or in their, in their note names. And there's a problem with that though. That doesn't really work with all file system or all sync services like Mac OS and Dropbox or OneDrive and Windows. And so I, I, I refrained from using that. I still use so, some of the special characters like a hashtag, uh, a link um, paragraph sign and uh, the, the curly braces, which work f for Mac OS and OneDrive and um, iCloud and Dropbox and Windows, but your mileage may vary. And that is why you need to look, look out a little bit when you use special characters in your, you know, note names. But I still wanted to have the capability to transfer more information by the note name or by the links. And this is where supercharged links comes in and is really nice because it allows me to directly deliver more information about what a node name is or what the node is or what is behind that node visually to me without needing to go into the node or hovering over the node or anything else. And that's what we take a look at. Supercharged links in the old version required extensive CSS writing, so custom style sheets, but in the newer versions it uses another plugin which is called style settings and we'll take a look at it also which is a plugin which allows styling uh, specific things for example buttons or the minimal theme which i'm using but also supercharged links so let's dive into supercharged link first so what you can do with supercharged links is you can change the link color you can change the um, if it's bold or not you can do underline through line upper line you can prepend text, you can append text to a, a node, you can make a change to the background, which does sometimes not work in preview, mileage may vary. And um, you can also define rules and those rules will then be attached to the styles. And the rules can be defined on three different things. One is by tag, one is per pass, and the other one is by attribute. And the attribute, that's a front meta attribute or a data view, a data view inline field. So uh, let's say I have a field which is called status and the other one is called test. And then that's what I need to configure, the, the, the attributes I would like to be used for rules. And then I can enable or disable it or, and I just have it every, everywhere enabled, which is totally fine. So then you create a new selector, so a new rule. Uh, let's say my attribute and I would like to have status, which is called, let's call it, call somebody. And it's an exact match. And when you hover above the boxes, it will tell you that um, I would like to style a link text. I would add content before the link, after the link, and I would like to change the background color. That's this one. And then um, we have another one, uh, which in a display here, node has attribute status with value call. And let's try to find another one. I would like to have a tag. And let's call it tag recording. And in there, I would like to style a link text and add content before, but nothing else. And I do save. So just tag has recording. Um, and then take a look what we can do. After you define the rules, or we call it stylings or whatever, you go into style settings and you now have supercharged links in here. Before that, if you don't have any rule, supercharged links doesn't show up. And like I said, I use buttons and minimal. So let's do a status call first. So I can have a link color. Let's keep it yellow, it doesn't matter. Ah, I would like to have a bold. Um, initial, I could, uh, 
decoration underline. I don't like that. Um, Prepend the text. So let's get a emoji, uh, which is a telephone. It's called a black telephone, which is red. I don't know why it's called black telephone, but in that thing. So I put that in, and then don't forget the space. You see that here also. That otherwise it will overlap with emojis, and otherwise also. And at the end, we also do a space, and then we say, "Call me." No, call me, not call whatever. And then you have here an example note. You can change the background color, and let's do it in white. Okay. For the tech which is recording, we give it another link color, and that's it. And then you will see nothing happened. Ah, uh, no, it, it, something happened, but nothing really too much, which is weird. But I need to check. So supercharged link, which has the tech recording, became blue, right? So, and now it updated it, and. Let me just disable the snippet, which comes later. And Tom got a telephone in front of him, call me yellow and Tom, right? Because the status of him is call. Mary doesn't have this because I don't have a status for her. I don't need to call her. So. You also see that here in the links, they changed. And you also see that when I start um, typing links, I get it also in the quick selector and I also have the supercharged links. This is why, because I enabled the those specific settings in where, where this view comes in. And what you also see is that while there is the text, the, the cursor jumps weirdly because only the at Tom is really the, the, the note, right? So everything else, you also see that this is not working here. I can change and this is just visible. So it's just visible styling, right? It looks like text, but you cannot change it because it's not there really in the note, right? The, the, the link name is still at Mary, at Tom and everything else behind it is visible only. So I I have similar like this. I use a bust symbol in front of Tom, even if I have the ad on it, but then it, I don't have this weird way to do anything. But I have a different example, which I, I'm using and I, I really like. And that's here, uh, project. My project one has failed and my project two is okay. So let's bring that up a little bit more visible because at the moment I have no idea what is happening with my projects, right? But I can use supercharged links for that. So let's create some more rules. New selector. I use the attribute again, the attribute, sorry, status. And let's say it's okay. And the only thing I want to do is add content after the link. And then I have another one, and it also says it node has attribute is okay. And then I have another one attribute value that's failed. And again, only after. Okay. So let's go back into style settings. We have no more possible ways. And I would like to have the a red circle ball behind it if it's failed. So I do a space and I do an add and it shows that if you don't do the space, you see it, it, it I, I don't like it. It's too, too near. I'd always do a space there. And for the status, I use uh, a green apple. So and you already see that now I directly know by looking at my projects, this is green and healthy. It's an apple and this is failed. So I, 
I can deliver more information via the link without changing anything to the node name. And that's a major important thing for me because it allows me to easily change that. And uh, for example, if I don't like the red circle, uh, because I have the um, I have the uh, apple, and let's then do this one and make it a tomato, for example. And I just go in, replace the value with a tomato, and now it's a tomato. Nothing that a tomato is bad. It's just it's red, and it's a more or less a vegetable. Um, and you see it, right? And this is the nice thing really for me about this. So what else? For example, there is something which you can do a little bit more sophisticated and then it's using on top of the, the normal rules and um, the style setting too. You can use custom styling with um, cascading style sheet CSS and I have an example here and you will find that uh, piece of code also on my blog when you look for the uh, supercharged links post you can find it by 4005 you can also find that one on the, the main page from the plugin and there's also a little bit described a little bit more how to how to do this uh, styling with style sheets, you don't need to do it really just for specific things like like this one, which is I, I really like this one really. Um, so this one allows you to after the the node after the link, it will give you then the status back. So what's the value of the status? So you create this snippet in um, obsidian dot obsidian snippets and i created a file called own supercharged links and i if i enable it which i had before you, you probably have seen it um when you now hover over tom it doesn't show anything if you hover over mary it doesn't show anything because it's update but if i go here um it now says oh call him in the project it says failed or oh, okay Right on Mary, it says null because Mary doesn't have a status. So room for improvement there in the style sheet. But I'm a I'm a noob in styling, so uh, if you have a better example, feel free to post it, and I will attach it to the to the blog. And but still, it, it I think it's a nice feature. So like take a look at the status, and you can then put information in there. Um, and if you go and, and change this last value here, not doing status, but saying test, for example, you would be able to retrieve the content of test, uh, which then allows you to display that information here, which would then could be a telephone number. You can say, oh, display not status, but display phone, and you can hover over the person call and it gives you the phone number. You don't even have to click into that. So quite a nice thing, I think, the snippet. All right. So that is also be. You can also do the but for most of the things you don't need it anymore because you have the style settings. Let's take a look at a one more complicated thing. So let's say I want to call Tom, but he's also part of this recording session for whatever reason. I would like to call him during the recording. So I, I, I added to recording and then you see directly what happens more or less. Tom doesn't have a telephone in front of him and he, go, and he becomes blue. He still has called me, but it's not that shining, piercing into my eye like before. Why? The reason is how Supercharged Links more or less applies those styles. So in my style for tag recording, I said I would like to have a blue color and nothing prepended. In my status as call, I have my other link color, I have the prepend text, which is the phone, and so on. 
And then if I go into my supercharged link settings, I, I have this order. So supercharged links applies the styles after each other. So the last one will always win. So if I move node has recording up, you see it in the background. Now it's again called me, right? But I don't know that he is part of the recording anymore because he's not blue. Yeah, so that is something you need to try to figure out on your own, how to order those rules. I call them rules. He calls some selector or her. In, in, in that way that you have the most value out of it and it makes more sense. And sometimes you will not be able to get to the point where you want to get with this. That's why I also keep it simple. What I'm doing is um, I use this project feature, what I showed you here. Uh, and I also mark specific nodes with specific icons. So for example, every every person, I, it always has the add sign, but every person gets a bust in front of it. Every resource has a um, resource icon in front of it. Every goal has a goal icon in front of it. So I can directly see when I type something that, okay, this is a goal, right? Or this is a project in a specific status. I don't need to look into the which folder it is or anything else. I directly have a visible um, a visible clue what kind of node it is. And I think that is really helpful. And then also thinking about a, a way to, to really map that out. So I have always the, the kind of nodes in front and then the status at the back. Um, and, and, and this allows me a lot of flexibility. And even while I'm using, as you can see, this is, I'm, I'm using folders. I can directly see without folders what kind of type of node this is. Yeah, that's it really about supercharged links. There's another plugin for um, if you want to do similar with tags. Um, and there is another plugin which is called uh, Link Fav Icon, which allows you to do some to add the favorite icon in front of an uh, external link, uh, which I also use, which is quite nice. It makes it more visible that this is an external link. But other than that, this is really it about supercharged links. You can find a blog post. Um, on my blog, which is in the description, easiest way to do searches is via this 4005. It's the same name, Supercharged Links. And you can also find the demo vault. This is what we have here. Um, also, and then you have the readme and, it, and change log. And it, again, it's 4005 for the content of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, please leave them. Great time over the days, Christmas and New Year, if you watch it now, more or less. And otherwise, take care and see you. Bye.